What's up guys? So today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the if blank function in Airtable or maybe it's just actually the blank function but I'm going to show you how to use that in your Airtable database very easily and effectively. So if you haven't met me before my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you help them optimize their information system. So stuff like Slack, Asana, Airtable and then the glue of all those systems with like Zapier and IntegraMap. So if you're interested, click the link in the description to request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So as you can see, we are in here in our Airtable database and I don't have a specific one that I'm gonna show you this on, but I am just gonna show you how to say if blank for this HQ address. You already have a use case in mind if you're wanting to use the if blank func formula. But for this one, we're just gonna say if the HQ address is blank and maybe you wanna use this for an automation, we can say run or don't run and then we can include that like in the automation trigger. So I'll just create a quick formula here and I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this, the way that I learned it and then an easy Airtable formula that you can learn. So the first thing I always do is I put an equal sign there and then I type in if. So there's no like if blank function, you have to do a blank function nested in a if function, which nested is mean, means you have one formula and then you put another one inside of the parentheses in a certain place. So for this one, we will type in if equals if, and then it'll have these parentheses here so typing in between there. Now our first operator in the if formula is a logical expression. A logical expression is going to return true or false. And something you might want to keep in mind for the blank function is there's no there's no operators in the blank function it doesn't require any inputs so if you're wanting to use the blank function then you would say if if we're trying to see if the hq address is blank so hq address and now so you'll do that field reference whichever field you're trying to see if that is empty you'll say equals blank and so for this one it should say over here you just use it blank then you can return, so if it's blank, so let's think about this. So if it is blank, we want it to say, do not run. So do not run. And so that's our value if true. So the first operator, which is this right here, is our logical expression. Then we have a separator, which is this comma. And then we have a text string, or you could also do a field reference or a formula in here to return the value if that, if that logical expression returns true. So if this is blank, then it will return true and it will return do not run because we don't run, want an automation to run if it's blank. So now we will return the value of false and for this, maybe we want to use the blank function here. So if this is blank, then it's going to return do not run and if not, it will just be blank. So now we will have this calculation. We can see for these ones that it, this is blank. It will have that in there. Now, if we put a space in there, it will still say do not run because it is essentially still empty. So that is one of the limitations. So say we have that space in there, but say we want instead of blank, another similar, really similar formula is just quote, quote. And that means that there's a text string that is empty. So we'll see if that works. So it looks like that still works. And so you can use either of those. You can either use blank or you can just use quote, quote. I've always used the quote, quote, but you can also use blank in here. So maybe you want to be testing if multiple things are blank. You can, instead of doing many, many filters in your formula, you just want to run one formula in here and check and see if that one's empty. If this formula field is empty, then we can run the automation. So maybe we want to say if multiple fields are blank, then don't run it or any of these fields are blank. So what you would want to use in here is an or formula. So if this is blank or this is blank or this is blank, do not run this automation. So we'll see how we can get that working in here. So or we will encapsulate the whole logical statement that we had before in here. So now 
to enter multiple things in here, you can see logical one, comma logical two, comma logical three, so on and so forth. So for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a comma in here after our first logical expression that we had in here before. And so now we'll maybe say if the name equals blank blank, or if the industry equals blank, and you can use these in tandem, or if the size equals blank blank, or if the company website, oh, company website equals blank blank, and so on and so forth. So that's all we're gonna do for this. I'll just show you how that works with all of these. So now you can see, say we take out ace tube out of this one, then it will actually enter do not run over here. So we'll type in ace tube again there. But now instead of doing multiple filters in your automations, you can just run it off of this one calculation field and you can say do not run if any of these are blank. Basically the only one, the only filter you would have to set up is this filter right here. So it would only run the records in the view, but you would just use these same filters for the automation. So only run if the calculation is not empty or it is empty. Only run the calculation if that is empty because we returned is blank if it's not empty. So I hope that helps you out with the blank formula, the if blank formula, as well as maybe an or formula as well. So just as simple as I can make it, the we'll say if the HQ address equals blank, do not run. And you just wanna make sure that you make this a logical expression, have your field reference equals blank, and make sure that you don't have any operators in the blank formula because it just doesn't need it. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, questions throw them in the comments. And if you're new to Airtable formulas and you just want a really beginner's guide to how formulas are set up and you want to learn more formulas, I actually have this video right here. It's gonna be an introduction to Airtable formulas. You're gonna learn really everything you'll need to know to get started with Airtable formulas. And then it'll have a lot of good resources in there that you can use to learn more Airtable formulas. So I highly encourage you to go check that out and learn more about Airtable formulas. But without further ado, have a great day and I'll see you there.